Hey guys, how you doing today? I wanted to give you an update on my um, philodendron varicosum. Isn't she gorgeous? But I did a couple of different things with her. Um, well, first I guess I will show you. This is my original plant. And I showed you guys this plant when I made this here moss pole. It's homemade moss pole that I made. <laughs> oh man, I just got dirt all over my carpet and I just vacuumed today. But anyhow, um, this moss pole was working pretty good. Let's see if I can back up a little bit here. You can see how skinny and tall it is. And my varicosum is kind of tallish. But anyways, I had taken some cuttings off of her and she is actually rooting in to this moss bowl. But it dries out so fast because it's so skinny. That was the only problem. So I tried to wrap it with cellophane. And that worked out a little bit better. It kept it, it kept it a little more moist a little bit longer. Um, so anyways, what I did was I ended up, I took a couple of cuttings from the top of the plant. And I already had roots on it. And then this is the one that I took the cuttings from that it had, it had roots on it. It was one of these. I think it was, yeah, it was this one over here. And then I had taken another cutting that I rooted in water, and that's this one over here. There's two cuttings on it. But what I did was I bought her a new moss pole, these big, fat, skinny, uh, thick ones. I got them from Amazon, and I really like them. I used two of them on my Mamie, <clears throat> and she's growing up beautifully but this is the ones that i got now i'm not you know i'm not endorsing these but these are the uh they're called blue pro and i got six of them six pieces and they were 15 inches high um and then this is this is what they are but this is what they are. They're super easy to put together. They're just, they're just these 15 inch sheets. And then I've got three left. I've used three. I used two on my Nanny and then one on my Varicosum. But they're really easy to put together. You just bend them on these creases. See the crease in here? You just bend it. And then you follow that crease and you fold it down like that. Really easy. And then you do the same thing to the other side. And then these just lock these little tabs. They just lock right in. And then you do all of them. And then you stuff your spag moss in. That's the worst part. Five of these at 15 inches tall each was $20, which isn't bad. Plus, I think there was like a, the day I bought them, there was like a 5% coupon or something like that. Um, but the worst part is the spag moss. The spag moss is so expensive now that uh, pfft, it is just absolutely crazy. But, um, anyways, I really like these. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of these on on Amazon. Um, I'm still keeping my eye out for, like, maybe if they go on, you know, on sale or whatever, I want to get some more because I want to use them for my varicosum. I'm using them on my mamie. And I would like to put one on take another cutting of my melon or chrysalis and put one on that those seem to be i mean the plants that i have 
that I think would really flourish and get the leaves bigger um, on a moss pole. Everything else I grow on either bamboo or wooden stakes or, you know, wooden um, boards, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what the heck I'm saying. But anyways, th these have been working a lot nicer. The moss is staying wet longer and all I do is I fill up, I have this little squirt bottle and I fill it up with water and I put my fish emulsion in it and then I just squirt it down into the pole really good. Now I just did it the other day and I don't need it again. It's still, well, it's drying up up here. Since my moss, or I mean my moss, my, my plant is only like right here and then the last node and then there's one right here too there's a node oh look there's already roots growing and she's only been on this moss pole for a couple weeks I think so I'm gonna stick I'm gonna put her roots back in there but I've only been kind of moistening the top a little bit and then I come in like right here and just find a hole above here and, and squeeze my water down in and squeeze it down so that this part, I've been keeping this a little bit more moist because I thought maybe it would help keep my pole um, moister longer. But yeah, spag moss is ridiculously priced. But look at her. Isn't she beautiful? I love this plant. And the back of the leaves are just gorgeous. Love it. But then I took... Oh, I don't want to drop her. I'm sitting on the floor of my plant room, so I have limited... I have limited room here to try to squeeze everything in. But I took, um... Three more cuttings. That I'm rooting out in water. These grow root out really, really good in water and fast. These have also been on here. Look at these beautiful. Look at these beautiful leaves. This cutting has two leaves on it, and then a new um, growth coming out. But I didn't have the heart to make two cuttings out of this, and then cut my leaf off, so I left them. They root out really nicely, and they don't seem to have a lot of stress. But look, already, let me get this old sheathing off, but look already, the roots are starting on this one. Can you see it? And then this other cutting... Look at the backs of those. This is a new sleeve. It's just gorgeous. God, I love this plant. And the fuzzy petioles. Oh, this plant is great. The only thing, bad thing about this plant is it is a spider mite magnet. If you don't keep on top of it, I spray this down every, once a month to keep the spider mites away. But I swear, if I get off that schedule, I use my neem oil. And if I get off that schedule and miss, you know, it, like a second, and boom, spider mites. Another big beautiful leaf. But since I've been growing them on a, growing them on a moss pole and not just a wooden plank, the leaves are getting bigger. And I'm hoping with this bigger moss pole, they're going to get jimongous. <laughs> but this is the other cutting. This is she beautiful? And then her beautiful red back. Look at that. Oh, just gorgeous. And then look at her roots. Coming along nicely. Another week or two, and I'll be able to pop these girls up. And I want to put them, I want to put them in the same pot. So I have a nice big bushy plant. And they can all grow up together, and then all I have to do later is just put them into a bigger pot. And then my third cutting, this other beautiful girl. This was the, this was the mid cut. 
and then that was also a mid-cut. The first one I showed you was the top, the top cutting. Uh, there you might be able to see it. But another beautiful leaf. It's as big, almost as big as my hand. And more beautiful backing. I just absolutely love this plant. And these fuzzy stems are just, oh, I love it. But, so those are my cuttings <clears throat> that I got from the back plant back here that I showed you. The first one that I showed you. All those and these came off of that plant. It was getting so tall. Um... But I'm super excited to see how this here moss pole grows. Well, not how the, the moss pole grows, but the, the plant grows. Uh, and so far, that that is a good indication that I'm going to have to um, tie this one back now. That she, I had no idea that she was rooting in already. That is so cool. And her leaf, her leaf is getting ready to come out. It's starting to emerge just a little bit there on the top. But I'll definitely have to tie her, tie her back and get her all ready to... Of course, she's already hanging on, but... So it won't be long. I'll have, I'm going to go ahead and put a secondary um, pole up here at the top and it's super easy when I did my mamie all I did was slide you can see I used a bamboo stick on the inside of the pole let me move see now I just used a bamboo pole on the inside of the back of the moss pole and I ran it all the way down to the bottom of my pot just for some stability because I did, I did not bury my moss pole I didn't want to bury it because for one, I didn't want to waste the moss pole itself, um, you know, down in down in the soil. So I just ran, I just ran that pole down and secured it. It's nice and secure. It's not gonna go. It's not gonna go anywhere unless the whole pot tips over. But then what I'll do is. <clears throat> Once it reaches about right here, so it's a little bit easier, you just take another pole and you, you get it all put together. And then you got this longer, and this has got plastic on it that you got to peel off too. There's like a film. You got to make sure that you peel that, peel that off, see it? But then you just take this longer piece, and it's got holes in it right here. And then I'll just slide it down over my pole. Oops. And then it just hook. It slides right down like that. And then you can just take, you know. Twist ties. I can probably run another pole, a longer pole down so the top stays secure. But I would probably take um, twist ties or something and then tie the, tie the pole to each other. I don't know. You might not. I can't remember what I did if I did that on my Mamie. I think I secured it with... Um, zip ties or something I'm pretty sure I did but so it's easy to it's easy to extend and I love it and I love having the pole and you're not wasting any of your moss pull down in the soil um, you, you'll still be able to get the plant and everything out fine so so far I am like super I am like super happy with the setup so I'm excited. I'll give you some more updates when my varicosum is ready to repot. Um, maybe we'll do that.
together. I'll have to I'll have to get her in a bigger pot, I think. Or I might be able to just dig a little dig a little spot and then stick them stick them down in. But anyhow, I just wanted to give you an update on my Viracosum and the new moss poles that I got. You guys seen the one on my mania. I put a video out on it like I don't know a couple weeks ago. It was just a little short video, but um, loving this, loving this plant. I'm hoping she's going to do much better and, and get some really nice big leaves because I've had this plant for a long time and I've struggled with it. I bet I've had this plant for like three years and the same goes with my melanocrysum. I've had that plant for about four years and I can't get leaves any as big as my hand but I'm hoping with the new moss pole um, situation it'll help so all right guys I'm gonna let you go and I will talk to you later have a good day bye peace